So great to have you with me again on Word of the Week. I pray these are a blessing for you. Go to my website, billyburke.org. Let me hear from you. And call our office, 813-287-2116. Let me hear from you. I want to know how these words are impacting your life. Psalm 91, verses 1 and 2. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And verse number 2 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. If you read the rest of this psalm, it is just full of goodies. I'm telling you, a thousand will fall to one side, ten thousand on another side. Angels are released. You won't dash your foot against the stone. The pestilence won't come by night and terror by day. I mean, that psalm is loaded with blessings for you. But the reason I said these two verses here is that the whole psalm is triggered by verse number two. He is, I will say of the Lord, I will say of the Lord, David made a decision that he had a concept of who God is in, in his life. And he says, with my mouth, I will say. See, you release, you pull the trigger on this whole psalm by what you say. You got to say it out loud to yourself so you get a, a better perspective of who God is. A lot of people love God until they hit rough times and they say, well, I don't know where God is. I will say of the Lord. In the middle of sickness, in the middle of tragedy, in the middle of broke, in the middle of depression, in the middle of I don't know what's going on, you got to let your mouth, I will say, of the Lord. He is my refuge. He is my strength. He is my fortress. I will trust Him. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of times that's the only answer you're going to have. I trust the Lord. Because there's not going to be any noticeable answer in the natural, in your now moment. And it's going to be something that's out of your control. And you're going to look at people and they're going to be like deers in the headlight. And that's whenever you're going to have to say, I trust in the Lord. Today, if you'll just begin to say, I trust you, Lord, with my finances. I trust you, Lord, with my future. I trust you, Lord, with my children. I trust you, Lord. And just begin to go down that path. And anything in you where there's a fear, where there's an uncertainty, where the enemy is working overtime to get you worried, to get you stressed out. Just begin to take a back step and say, I will say of the Lord, He is my fortress. He is my refuge. Why would you say He's my refuge? Maybe your marriage is not a refuge anymore. Maybe your home's no longer a refuge. Maybe you can no longer talk to your parents. And maybe your pastor's too busy. Who knows? We all need refuge, a place where we feel safe, where the arrows aren't going to hit us, where the words of people aren't going to pierce us. And that's why we have to determine that God can be your refuge. I mean, in the middle of a busy traffic signal, in the middle of a mall, in the middle of a park, in the middle of laying on the beach, I mean, with all the activity around you, you can just feel the refuge that He's keeping you, He's protecting you, and He's going to keep you all the days of your life. Guess what? It's one thing to know it. It's another thing to say it and keep on saying it. He is my refuge. And when people let you down, and they will, when relatives let you down, and they will, you still have a refuge. It's Jesus the Christ that's your word for the week.